Once you're done adding your value to your beakers, we are gonna do our chemical reaction experiment. So what you're gonna need is a cup of water and a paintbrush. And if you do not have a paintbrush, you can use your finger. It works just the same. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush and my water and I'm going to start mixing my markers together. And what we're gonna see happen is the two primary colors are gonna to mix together to create the secondary color. So here I'm seeing my red and my blue mixed together to make purple. All right, let's do the middle one. I'm gonna use my finger on this one. Blue and yellow mixing together to make a green. It almost looks like a radioactive green. That's awesome. And what's nice about doing the crayon first is that the crayon is a resist. It pushes the water back so it'll stay there and you don't mess it up. Now, I said if you had a permanent marker, you could outline right away, but if you only had a Crayola marker, you should wait because if you wanted to outline with black and you only had a Crayola marker like this, it would have started to mix when we added the water. So when this is dry, if you want to go outline your beaker, you can go back with a Crayola marker to outline, or you could even use just the crayon to outline. That would work too. All right, there we go. We just had a science experiment on our art project and we mixed those primary colors to create the three secondary colors, purple, green, and orange. Now we are gonna take this one step further and we are going to create or take our forms and make them stand up. So if you want to do that, you need to go and find some toilet paper tubes and some tape or glue and a pair of scissors. If you don't have those things at home, you can just leave your art project like this if you want to. That's totally fine. All right, so if you decided that you wanna take this one step further and make these into standing forms, you're gonna to need to find some type of thing to make them stand up. So I'm gonna to use toilet paper tubes. You could use like a paper stand or something else if you have that available. And I'm gonna start cutting out my forms. So I'm gonna cut these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cut out all of my beakers and now I wanna be able to make them stand upright. So I'm gonna be using some toilet paper tubes that I have at home and I'm gonna be taping them to the back. Now you could use a glue bottle but you have to let it dry somehow. You could also use a paper clip to adhere them but um, I think tape is probably the easiest way. I'm gonna use masking tape but any tape should work. So I'm gonna flip these guys over and I'm going to take my toilet paper tubes and kind of find the spot where they're not going to be seen. So I know that this is going to be mostly covered, though I feel like it could be a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to cut this one. And I want to make sure that my cut's not always even, so I want the edge that was manufactured edge, the one I didn't cut, is the bottom edge, because that's what's going to hold it up. I'm going to kind of set that there. That's a good height. I already cut this one so it would be a little bit shorter because that one has a smaller base. And this one should work just fine how it is. So I'm going to take my tape. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on the inside of this like that. I want this to be kind of close to the bottom. I'm trying to line it up at the bottom of my beaker and I'm going to put the tape down. I'm gonna do that on all three of my beakers. Line it up at the bottom, massage the tape down. Okay, so now, hopefully, these should be able to stand up when I flip them up right. This one needs a little extra tape. So if you have a problem like that where it's not standing up, you can take some tape and put it on each kind of side 
of your beaker or of your toilet paper tube kind of wrapping around and then to the back. Perfect. All right, we're gonna take a look at these when they're all set up and uh, ready to go. So I'm gonna set these up in an interesting place in my house and take a picture so you can see what they look like when they're all standing together. Okay, I hope that you had fun today having a little bit of a color mixing chemical reaction experiment and learning how to take a two-dimensional piece of paper and create three-dimensional forms on it using value and shapes and lines. I know I had a really good time. Now remember, if you wanted to, you could color this with whatever materials you have on hand. A pencil is great for the shading as well. If you didn't feel like cutting them out and making them stand on their own, Think about what you could add to the background here. Maybe there's a little lab mouse running around or an evil scientist in the background. So think about what you could do with that background to give it a little more interest. And if you did cut out your forms and put the paper towel tubes on the back, I'd love to see where you set them up in your house when you take a picture. Remember to share your photographs with me. I want to see your zany scientist beakers. That's all for today. I hope you have fun. Goodbye, my most amazing artists and scientists.